Yeah, but so, but right, but rightfully so. I mean, this is the other oh, thing. Absolutely. Now, I, I was just talking to Kieran, and it was. It's, I still find a lot of the mainstream media disappointing. You know, when last week both the Bish and um and um, Nicola Willis were saying, you know, every dollar that goes from onto these ferries, we can't we can't put in towards roads and hospitals and schools. Yet the media hasn't yet gone and said, what about all those tax cuts? There are also dollars that can't go to things, so they're still missing a beat there that lots of us are seeing. Well, at least we're seeing. I don't know if lots of us are seeing. Well, I mean, that ties into what we were talking about, these guys throughout the campaign trail, right? Is the, the mainstream media are dropping ball after ball. Um, and we need them to do better. We need them to push harder on the question. We need to do, we don't just need the first question. We need the second and the third. We need to to tie them all together. Let's show the the depth of thought or lack of depth of thought that these guys have with their policies. Um, you know, like I haven't even been here to touch on, you know, the, the idiocy out of Bish, um, <laughs> actually referring to, to a couple of government departments by their te reo names, um, yeah. or, or um, little wee Simeon Brown, shit canning projects of pu public transport and, and cycling and, and that sort of thing, which we're getting huge dividends out of them and getting people out of their cars like, at, the press at this press conference they referred to it as tying order uh, in instead of housing new zealand and when questioned on that they were like oh well because it's a new entity it's not a new entity it used to be housing new zealand yes it merged with another another one but it was housing mm -hmm. new zealand which became kaying order and so they're leaving it as kaying order um I, I I can't actually remember why I queued this one up, but I remember thinking about myself, oh, that's a good one. We've got to play that. So I might just put 60 seconds of this across as well to wrap us up for the day and uh, go from there. So uh, let's have a listen to what, I can't remember what it is. Let's have a listen to what he's going to say here. But don't misunderstand. Yeah, we, we value te reo. We want people to learn te reo. We want to encourage people to do that. People should be encouraged to do that. I'm an example of that. You know, I'm someone oh, who genuinely wished that I had learned te reo as a younger person. And I never had that opportunity to do so. So and now I'm- people learn it health because I actually think it would make me do my job better as a result of that. I took a limited leader's budget, which is available to me to spend on all sorts of yeah. things. So what is going on and on and on about is I was allowed to, I was entitled to because I had the budget. Well, until you change the law, other public servants are entitled to as well. So that's what he's saying. That was the clip about what he was saying about I was hard when I was young. I wanted to play that based on the thing I, I mm. said before. Um, yeah, look, it's just hypocrisy to the max. And um, it's important it gets called out for what it was. What it was. It's also it was. Re really similar to what he said about the the EV rebate as well. I took it because it was available to me. Yeah, he's allowed to. And that that's cool. But again, we we discussed that at length. The optics of that, just because it's available to you, doesn't make it a politically good decision to make. Yeah. When you're standing against something, to go well, yes, I as a millionaire. Um, could have claimed the rebate, uh, but I didn't because I morally don't think it's a good idea, is a better argument than anything else he threw out there.